slow smoke ribs here. Doing pork ribs and I'm doing some beef ribs. Look at the fat on this. Slow smoke, it's gonna be crispy, but it's gonna fall right off the bone. Now I'm gonna do a dry rub. Here we go. A little brown sugar for sweetness. There we go. There we go. Some five spice. Now, five spice, cinnamon stick, star anise, fennel seed, cloves, and Szechuan pepper. You can pick this up anywhere. Let's get that in there. That's that Asian influence. A little garlic salt. Gotta cook with garlic. Very important, and that comes out really well on the grill. And celery salt instead of uh, regular salt. There we go. Let's get that all mixed in there. There we go. Let's get those right onto our ribs now. Start rubbing them in now. That's where all the flavor is going to come from. We're going to put these into the fridge for 24 hours. Now, if you don't have 24 hours, you can go four, but you really want to let them sit in there for a while. Let's just rub those in. Let's not forget the backside here. The other one in here. Now remember I said ribs? We're doing pork ribs too. I'll be back in a second. Spare ribs. Let's take a look at these. A little bit of different cut here. Not as much fat, but really tender. We're going to use the same principles here. We're going to use a little brown sugar again. And celery salt, again, these are two essential elements to barbecue, sweet, salty. That's what we're looking for, contrast and flavor. Now we're gonna go, we did Asian before, now we're gonna use a little bit of the hot stuff. So we're gonna start with a little garlic powder, a little onion powder. Now I'm using paprika. This is gonna add some color and a bit of hot too, but it's on the sweet side. I'm gonna use chili powder, Again, another hot element, but a little earthier. Get that in there. Let's do the mix, mix, mix. All right. And just like before, this is going to act as an abrasive here. It's going to start to break down the fiber of the meat. I'm just going to rub that right in there. into the fridge for 24 hours. Take a look at the ribs. 24 hours of marinating here. Woo! There we go. Let's take a look at our beef first. Pull these out. Now all of that marinade has penetrated deep into the meat. Now I need that upper level. Just get a nice Second coating here of the same stuff I used yesterday. Here we go. Just get that on top. Just start to rub it in again. Don't forget the backside. Go. Rub that in there. Now this beef is ready to be slow smoked for hours. That'll just fall right off the bone. Let's get our pork done. Look at the paprika, woo! There we go, color, wow. So again, penetrated right down into the middle. Now I want the top layer done again. Let's get all on. As I rub all this in, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave these out for about half an hour just before I put them onto the smoker. Why am I doing that? I want the internal temperature to be exactly the same temperature as the outside which will ensure even cooking for me. The pork and the beef now are at room temperature. Time to check on our wood here. I've got some cherry wood chips on, smoking nice and hot here. Now I'm gonna turn the temperature down to about 200 degrees Fahrenheit, 100 degrees Celsius. This side of the grill is off. I'm using indirect heat here. All that smoke is gonna fill the cavity and we're gonna put the ribs on. 
cork in the back. We want the rib side down, meat side up, looking at us. Put these on. Now, get that closed. Now, if you're working with a lot of sugar in your marinade, honey, brown sugar, maple syrup, you want to use indirect heat because if you don't, they'll just start to burn, caramelize on you way too much. Indirect heat, this side off, this side on. Just let the smoke fill the cavity. These are going to be on four hours. It's been about two hours now. Smoke's died down. Now I can take my first peek. Whoa, did I tell you it was going to look like this or what? Look at the fat separating from the bone. Another two hours and they're going to come off. But right now they're looking great. It's time to change the wood now. We've had it on for two hours. No more smoke left in this packet. Off. Let's just get this one on. Close our lid down. Two more hours. Just let the smoke envelop. Those ribs are going to taste really good. Mm. So we're going to make our whiskey barbecue sauce here. Got a little sauteed onion, butter, and oil. That's the base. Now let's start. A little whiskey here. Ooh. A little ketchup. <laughs> Let's mix this around. A little Worcester, because you know that splash just adds that little tang in there. A little cider vinegar, apple cider. Just a little splash. Now maple syrup, all that sweetness. And this, is, this will start to thicken up too. The molasses. Ooh. Pour that in. There we go. Mix that around. Little celery salt instead of regular salt. Right in. So we have the sweet, the salty, and last but not least, a little OJ. For that citric acid that we're looking for. Again, that's all gonna come out once it's reduced. Take a little taste here. Good. Back onto our heat for 45 minutes. Remember that whiskey barbecue sauce? It's reduced by half. Let's give it a taste. Wow. All the flavors have concentrated now. These are ready for the port. Now, wood chips infuse flavor. The rub infuse flavor. Now I'm going to add my last element here. And we're just going to base these ribs. We're just going to moisten them up here. We have one hour left to go. And all we want to do is just make them nice and moist and have that glaze, that sweet glaze that we're going to have on them. These ribs are going to be phenomenal. These ribs are done. We had the Asian spice on here, the five spice. See that bone? Nice and white. And the meat's actually starting to pull back. Very soft. These are ready to come off now. Let's put these over here. There we go. And these pork ribs now, the spare ribs. Base things all over. Ooh, let me get these off. There we go. Ready to come off. Now these are ready. They're nice and soft, but let them rest. Let all the juices go back to their natural places. These are ready to eat. 